this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I'm going to speak about three-point bearing. Three-point bearing is uh, one of the very important uh, way of terrestrial navigation. If they say navigation is an art of position finding, three-point bearing has got a very high place in this book of terrestrial navigation. Let us understand what is this three-point bearing. First of all, what is that unique thing in the three-point bearing? If you have to find out the course made good or speed made good, like captain comes on the bridge, he says, okay, what speed she is doing? That means you will find out the speed between the last two pixels, the observed positions that you have plotted on the chart. Distance between them will give the speed made good. But three-point bearing is a method by which you can get CMG direction. You can get CMG direction without plotting the fixes. That means you have no fix at the moment. You have not plotted the fix, but you are able to get CMG direction. In my previous lectures, I told you that in this course steered course made good triangle, there are three vectors. Vectors means magnitude and direction. Now I'm talking about uh, the two arrow line, that is the course made good and distance made good. If it is made for one hour, course made good and speed made good. I'm talking about this particular side. So three point bearing, has got a, a special significance that it is able to give you the two arrow line, just the direction part, not the magnitude. That means CMG direction. What three point bearing gives you is the CMG direction. All you need is an object ashore. It might be a sandy coast. There might be no lighthouse. You might just have a coconut tree there. As long as it is there ashore, with the help of that coconut tree, you can find out the CMG direction. That means you take three bearings. Condition is you take three bearings at known interval and uh, steady speed. Steady course and speed. So course and speed should be steady and the three bearings should be taken at known interval. And if you can do that and if you even if you do it for the coconut tree, you will get the CMG direction. So let us understand the basic plotting of this three-point bearing before we do the applications of three-point bearing. Like this is a sandy coast. Here is some object ashore. You have taken the three bearings. What I want is you plot the bearing and at the end of bearing you write down the time along the bearing line. So this is 9 o'clock. This is 9.20 and this is 950 bearing lines. Now when you have plotted these three lines on the chart, right? They are plotted, they are taken at the known interval, steady course and speed, right? What you have to do is on the light that is ashore, you draw a line in such a way that all the three bearing lines, they fall on the same side. It is not necessary that this line should be perpendicular to the middle bearing as it taught as is taught by many no that's not correct you plot a line in such a way that all the three bearing lines fall on the same side uh, the ratio between the bearing lines the first set and the second set is 20 is to 30 20 minute is to 30 minutes so what you have to do is very accurately try to uh, say uh, take some measure and say I put two units here and three units there. Now what is important is with this measure which is in the ratio of two is to three you draw a line parallel to the middle bearing. Draw a line parallel to the middle bearing. Where these lines which are parallel to the middle bearing meet the first and third bearing line uh, lines respectively, you join those points. And this particular line is the CMG direction. So what you have got is the CMG direction without making a triangle just by plotting these three bearing lines. Now what is the special significance of the CMG direction at this stage? 
Now suppose this sandy coast is uh, in the direction say 007 and your course made good is something like 000 which means that your ship is drifting towards the coast. You are able to know that you are drifting towards the coast or you are drifting away from the coast. You get some idea with the CMG direction like in respect of the course that is steered by you which way you are going. So that is the first advantage and significance of the three point bearing. This is popularly called as three point bearing plot. Now having got this CMG direction, the interval between the first bearing and the last bearing is 50 minutes. My intention now should be to make a triangle of 50 minutes duration. Now for making the triangle, I might be given two types of numerical or two types of situation. Situation 1 where set and rate both are given. Set plus rate both are given. And situation number 2 out of set and rate only one. Say for example only set given. So there can be broadly there can be two situations in three point bearing. One set and rate both are given and other one only set is given. When set and rate both are given, what is to be done? Let us try and understand. Now my intention is to make 50 minutes triangle. I have got two arrow line. The other two sides of the triangle are one arrow line and three arrow line. Right? So somehow I have to add one arrow line and three arrow line to this line and complete the triangle. But please remember, set and rate, if both are given, then put it in the beginning. Please note I told you in the beginning that my intention is to make a triangle for 50 minutes. So whatever sides you are going to put, the magnitude is going to be for 50 minutes. So suppose set and rate happens to be, say for example, 120 degrees into 3 knots. 120 degrees into 3 knots. Now, if the uh, rate of current is 3 knots for 50 minutes, the drift is going to be 3 multiplied by 50 divided by 60. So the drift for 50 minutes is going to be 3 into 50 divided by 60. So that is going to be 2.5 miles. So 2.5 miles is the drift. What I do is along 120 degrees, I put 2.5. Now what is known is the engine speed. Engine speed is known. Engine speed is say for example 12 knots but the third side that I'm going to make that is one arrow triangle is going to be distance over water in 50 minutes so 12 multiplied by 50 divided by 60 will be 10 miles yes so what I have to do is from this point I will cut an arc of 10 miles on the two arrow line and complete the triangle this is the triangle for 50 minutes now this was the situation when set and rate both were known. I put the set and drift in the beginning. My intention was to make the triangle for 50 minutes. I have completed the triangle for 50 minutes. At this stage when I complete the triangle, I ask myself two questions. Number one, is the triangle really made for 50 minutes? Yes, this is for 50 minutes, this is for 50 minutes. So this also, this two arrow line also should be for 50 minutes. So from here to here, it should be DMG 50 minutes, distance made good in 50 minutes. Then what is the speed made good? So uh, that is uh, 54 divided by 5, that would be 10.8 knots. This means my uh, speed made good is 10.8 knots. Well, I told you the first thing to do is check whether the triangle is for 50 minutes. It was for 50 minutes. The next thing is, is the two arrow line starting from the first bearing? Because my intention now is to transfer the first bearing. Is the two arrow line starting from the first bearing? Yes. Two arrow line is starting from the first bearing. So at the end of two arrow line, I will transfer the first bearing line. After transferring where it cuts the third bearing line is the fix at 950. So what I've got is the fix for 950. And as soon as you have the fix, what you should do is transfer the two arrow line from there. Then this is the actual CMG DMG of the ship in 50 minutes. This is the probable 
position at 9 o'clock the shape was here and this was the position at 0920 this is the position at 0950 so this is the plot of three point bearings a situation where set and rate both are known now we will deal with the situation of three point bearing where only set is known the rate is not known that means set and rate if both are not known they cannot be put in the beginning so if three arrow line cannot be put in the beginning what we will do is we will put one arrow line in the beginning let's look at it okay in this case let this be the light and this be the coast line this is the first bearing second bearing and the third bearing let us say the first bearing was at 1800 and this one has 18 say for example 30 and this is at say 1845 so this is a 45 minutes triangle okay a uh, ship is proceeding somewhere in this direction what I will do is I will draw a line in such a way that all the three lines fall on the same side now I have to cut a ratio of 2 is to 1 because this is 30 is to 15 so with some accurate measure I put one unit there and two units here from these points I will draw a line parallel to the middle bearing parallel to the middle bearing now these meeting points are joined this is the CMG direction now this is the CMG direction let us say uh, CMG comes to be 0, 0.9 1 degrees now in this question probably the set is given as 0, 0.6 0 degrees and then uh, core steer is 1 0, 0 degrees say the ship is going at 12 knots we don't know how much is the rate as I said we already have two arrow line in the form of CMG direction that we have obtained this situation is set and rate both are not known only one of them is known say set is known so naturally three arrow line cannot be put in the beginning so I put one arrow line and one arrow line happens to be you know 100 zero, zero. plot it like this now 1800 to 1845 the interval is 45 minutes and my intention is to make a triangle for 45 minutes the speed is 12 knots so 12 multiplied by 45 divided by 60 is 9 miles what I do is from here I uh, mark 9 miles off now from there I have to put 3 arrow line right this is one arrow line from here I have to put 3 arrow line and the direction is 0 6 0 so 3 arrow line I draw this way I extend 2 arrow line and this two arrow line meets here so this is a triangle for 45 minutes if this is the triangle for 45 minutes that means uh, from here to here this is the distance made good 45 minutes from that distance made good in 45 minutes I can find out speed made good of the ship but now having completed the triangle once again the same checks number one is the triangle for 45 minutes yes everything is for 45 minutes yes and second thing is is the two arrow line starting from the first bearing otherwise your entire plot will be wrong yes two arrow line is starting from the first bearing so what I do is at the end of the two arrow line I draw a line parallel to the first bearing I draw a line parallel to the first bearing at the end of two arrow line where it meets the third bearing line is the fix at 1845 and as soon as you get the fix at 1845 what you should do is try a line try to draw a line parallel to the CMG and this becomes the actual CMG this is the actual CMG so actually the ship was here at 1800 ship was here at 1830 and ship is here at 1845 so this was a plot for the situation of three point bearing where only set is known rate is not known right and we complete the triangle starting with drawing of the one arrow line from the starting point right and three arrow line is put in the end there are some other variations of three point bearing for example implied bearing implied lighthouse one fix and two bearing etc etc uh, maybe in some future video i will cover them